In this video, we will go over the settings on the motor driver, specifically how to program it as well as how to change the display to show the motor RPM. The motor you are using must be set to a pulse to revolution rate of 800. On 3D Potter motors, you can use the switches on the motor to set this. For 800 pulses per revolution, all switches except for switch 1 should be in the on position. Switch 6 can be set to on or off as it controls the default motor direction. We will be programming all settings from a factory new device that still has its default settings. Some of the settings shown in this video may already be selected on your motor driver. If this is the case, you can hit the enter or stop button to skip this step. There are two main setting menus. The P settings control the motor's action modes, while the F settings mainly control the display. To enter the P settings menu, press the set button one time. When the display says P0, press enter. We will now use the dial to change the number to four and press enter. This changes the motor action setting to have the motor run continuously until it is told to stop. You can hit the stop button to stop editing the motor settings. The default mode of the display shows the motor's traveled distance. We are going to change the display to show the motor RPM. To do this, we need to change two of the F settings. To get to the F settings menu, press the set button two times. Turn the dial to have the display show F1 and then press enter. We need to change this number to 817. You can do this by spinning the dial, or you can use the left and right arrows to actively change different digits. Pressing the arrow keys will cause a different digit to flash. You can then use the dial to change the selected digit as shown here. Once the display shows 817, press Enter. We now need to change the F20 setting. Turn the dial until the display says F20 and then press Enter. We are going to change the setting to 4. Having F20 set to number 4 will show the motor RPM on the display. Press Enter to save the setting, and then press Stop to exit the Settings menu. You now have an accurate display showing the actual RPM of the motor. There is one more optional setting you can change. Setting F14 controls how much one click of the control dial increases or decreases the motor speed. Press the set button twice and go to F14. Press enter and then change the interval setting to your desired number. Setting the number to one will give you the most accuracy, while setting the number high will make the motor speed change faster when spinning the dial during operation. On interval setting one, a single click of the dial changes the motor RPM by approximately 4. On setting 10, it will change the motor RPM by approximately 40.